Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Ellie Studio, and I am sharing with you this layout, and I used my sketch pen for this, so I want to show you how I did that. So open Silhouette, and once you're in there, you want to open the file. So I used that rainbow. Um, you can double layer the rainbow, it's, so there's two separate cut files, um, and I'm just going to use one. You want to change that mat size to 12 by 12, and then you are going to resize the rainbow. Um, and so you just drag on the open squares to size it to how you want. And so you'll see that this is not going to be 12 by 12 because I want to angle it. That's 12 by 12. And I knew that that was going to be too big. So if you drag on that green circle there, I'm dragging it to the left to angle the rainbow to the left. And then I'm going to kind of put it where I want. I don't want it to fill the whole page. And I do page and then the right angle of the page because I've angled the rainbow left. And so you see how I'll have open rainbow at the bottom there if I left it that way. So I'm going to drag the legs longer and then that way it will um, extend to the very bottom of the page and you will still be able to see that inner rainbow. So then you're going to hit send and you want to make sure that you hit sketch and see how that then turns the rainbow red. And so where it would cut, that is actually where it's going to draw. Then you need to choose your material, which in this case is going to be paper, and then your action, which you want it to sketch and then you're going to choose um, for tool. I actually used a pen holder and put a pen in it. So then you're going to go ahead and hit send um, if you were connected, which you could probably see from my screen. I was not connected, um, but I, I took care of that um, and then you can see the pen holder there and how I am now instead of going to cut the cut file, I'm actually going to sketch the cut file. And I'm trying to find the pen that I used. It is, I know it's an American Crafts pen um, and it's a Slick Rider medium. And that's what I used to draw the rainbow. I wanted the color to be in um, the, the wording that I used. In other words, the title, really subtitle. Um, and so then the illusion, well, it's not even an illusion, but the, the rainbow is um, extrapolated the color from the color that will end up in the layout. So then you're gonna take it off your mat and voila, there is how you use a digital cut file as um, a sketch file as well. So I have this picture of my son and he was swimming um, one of the events that he has some big goals for. Actually, this whole meet he had some big goals for. And so the reason that I used this title, it says ignore the rain, look for the rainbow, is he didn't do as well as he had hoped to do in this particular meet. Um, and so that is what the hidden journaling underneath this photo is going to talk about is this motivational phrase here. So in the uh, January add-ons, there are these rainbow, they're called polka dot journaling cards, and I used all of them but one, and I'm using my large Jane Alpha dies, and I'm going to cut rainbow. Now, I did cut from the center of each of these cards because I figured I could reuse the cards for something else by just covering over where I die cut. Um, and so I skipped the end of the letters because you know how to run things through a metal die cut machine. Um, so there is rainbow. And then I have here a mix of the Jane Alpha stamps as well as some Jane letter stickers that I'm going to use to create the rest of that title. That's just a little bit of uh, gray distress oxide ink uh, to go up the top. So I wanted to create a little bit of the effect um, kind of, of a rainy day over on the left hand side uh, at, to give you the idea of effect of <laughs> ignoring the rain. So the rain will be on that left hand side. It overlapping that rainbow with the words rainbow actually being the rainbow. So I'm using the acrylic clouds and the acrylic raindrop confetti here. I'm not going to use all of the confetti because I really wanted uh, those more brighter blues with less of the green to work with the colors that are in the water in that photo there. I'm going to supplement that with a stamp from the title Builder Volume 3. Uh, there's a really cool, they look like the water droplets, like these rain droplets, and so I'm going to use that in a second. But I'm working on the spacing here of how I'm going to make everything work on the page and uh, try and get that 
correct before I go ahead and adhere things and commit to that because in order to put the acrylics down you do really need to use liquid adhesive and once you've used a liquid adhesive there is no pulling that back up again. So I am here working on I'm going to put ignore uh, and I know that ignore and the are going to be in rainbow color well that I'm going to use them in two different colors then blue the rain in one color um, and then look for the so I tried to get all of the colors of the rainbow in there. Um, each word was a different color and I wanted rain to be bolder which is why I used uh, the letter stickers that I'm going to pull out here and put on some wax paper so I can just work on the spacing of everything. I will show you how I stamp the uh, a few of the words but uh, once you've done one it's the same thing you just clean up the stamp rearrange the word and do it in a different color so that was to give me the idea of the spacing there so that I could commit to everything else so there's that uh, title builder <laughs> stamp set that I was referring to uh, I did pull the rainbow cards from the February kit to see how I could incorporate those into the page. And really, I didn't want to cover up too much of the rainbow. And so I am just going to leave a lot of that white space there. These are some of the extras from the add-ons from February. And I'm going to use that cloud stamp to stamp in gray. It's very, very subtle. You can't see it, but there are a few extra, two extra clouds. Um, again, just to add a little bit more of an effect. So what I did was I put my Distress Oxide ink on the mixed media pad over there from Tim Holtz, spritzed it with water, uh, kind of smushed my stamp around in it, and then I'm going to stamp. Um, I will actually do that twice. I'm just picking up that extra ink there, and then I'm going to stamp up above. Again, it's a very subtle look, um, but I, I didn't want too much gray because I wanted the emphasis to be more on the rainbow than actually on the rain there. So I'm just going to put everything away and continue building. Um, I actually have not done the journaling here. I am trying to convince my son to do that. Um, although he, he's not a, a child of many words. And so I think it may end up being that I end up doing that. So you can see I have the die cuts from the February kit. Unfortunately, the February kit is sold out, but uh, all of the other add-ons are still available. I do recommend that if you like these kits that you go ahead and subscribe to guarantee that you get your kits. Uh, you also get, it's not free shipping, but you get um, standard shipping if you add add-ons that ship out with your kit. Um, there's all kinds of bonuses for subscribers as well. Uh, you get discounts on some things and specials and what have you. So just stay tuned each month for all of your email that will tell you what those special things are for you. So this is that stamp. Um, it's actually got three, I'm going to call them raindrops. I just wanted the outline drop. Um, so I'm just going to move the ink off of, originally I had put um, a post-it note, the sticky part of the post-it note over, but for as many times as I wanted to stamp that, it was starting to get messy. So I just kind of wiped it off with a baby wipe and then stamped that outlined raindrop or what I'm going to call a raindrop. Um, from the title builder stamp set in just to add a little bit more to the rain there. Then once I do that, I'm going to work on the title. Uh, and again, as I said previously, it's literally just sticking down the letters for the word, stamping it in the color that you want, putting it on the paper, and then um, rearranging it from there. So you can see I've created a cluster on the right hand side. I felt like the movement of the layout just kind of went um, straight to the photo. And so by having a little bit more color on the top right where you can see I've got that rainbow pattern paper from last month's pattern paper and then by having the little cluster embellishment on the right hand side I was able to kind of move your eye across the page rather than just that hard stop on the photo with the title there.
I am also going to off camera go to my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter and I am going to type on that journal card. It just says the name of the meet, uh, the date, the event that he was swimming here, what his personal t best time was and what his seed was, his prelim time, what his seed was, and then what his finals time was and um, what his finishing place was there. Um, so he has that information. You know, it's funny if you are a sports mom, um, you don't always remember this information. You you get the most current times, uh, but you don't remember at a particular meet necessarily what the goals were and how far, what the progress was. Um, sometimes we just let those shining moments be the memories that we keep um, and while they're good memories sometimes we need to remember as athletes the, the the low points that drive us to those high points um, and that was the purpose of this layout is to motivate him to um, some high points hopefully so again i'm showing you how that goes and then i'm just going to skip through all of that because this is a longer video than i would normally do that w i've lost my w um and so i had to fussy i actually i had the stamp and so i just um stamped it and then cut it out and that gave me uh the the w and so i had the pencil marks that i had to erase there so i am sticking this down in a fairly linear line. Um, I will often just go a little bit more whimsical um, and I will intentionally make things of different heights so as it not to appear that I haven't made it perfect but this I could line up with the bottom of that photo which was perfect. Those are the uh, the labels for this month and I'm going to split one of them to put at the top for a splash of color and then I'm also going to use it as kind of like the lift tab that will be on the photo there and you'll see what I mean by that. So I'm taking this three by four card and I'm actually going to turn it into a little bit of a banner and just outline it with a pen so that I have that little bit of added color up the top there. So you can see how the rainbow is everywhere but in the rainbow it's the shape of a rainbow with the sketch pen um, and it allows you to have that white space in the layout but still see all of the color of a rainbow scattered throughout the page there. So there's that journal card that I referred to with the rainbow colors. Now I just have um, some washi, black washi, and I'm going to use that to adhere the photo to the page where I will then nestle the journaling. And I haven't decided how exactly that journaling is going to fit in there, whether I will write on the back of the photo or perhaps type it on a piece of um, white cardstock that will then go over those sketched lines that are there is probably what I will do. So there's that split tag or label, half up the top there. And then the other half on the bottom of the page. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what I'm doing off camera there. Um, oh, that was the the three by four card that I had cut down. And again, just a fine black pen just to make it a little bit more distinct from the rainbow because the lines are going in different directions. This is going to be the flip tab for the photo kind of to give you an indication to lift that up. I didn't say lift here because um, it is a little private and he will know. My kids um, have learned that I have a lot of hidden journaling throughout their pages. I wanted this to go over the lip of that paper um, and it's a fine paper that it's printed on. It says life is tough but so are you and so I just backed it with some white cardstock there so that you wouldn't see the line uh, between the in it, down the middle half of that sticker there. I'm using these super awesome coral uh, puffy stickers to put N because his name is Nicholas, so N for Nicholas. And then I'm using a one of the Be Happy stickers that says Dream Big. And then I'm gonna put a rainbow beside that. And that, my friends, is it. Enjoy the close-ups. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I do have a die cut tutorial coming for you soon. I do know that many of you requested that. Again, thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.